Good morning. I was able to make it into the woods this morning, as you can see. And so my goal for today is to go ahead and shoot a video with my hammock and my tarp setup. I'll be using my rapid deploy uh, tarp setup uh, with my Aquafa AquaQuest Defender 10x10 10 10 square. I think I'm going to use the uh, diamond pattern. So corner to corner across the ridge line and the two corners come out like wings. Deploy that and then put up my, uh, my hammock straps and my hammock uh, between these two trees here and here. So uh, watch the intro, be back and I'll get it set up for us. I put the first strap up on this tree, put the second one over here, and then we're going to put up the hammock. Stick around. Wraps her up. Let's get the hammock up. Up. Let's throw up the uh, ridge line and the tarp using the rapid deploy setup. I'll go ahead and deploy it and then I'll adjust it to the, uh, the diamond pattern.
it from the A-frame setup. Everything I have is on little night eye beaners. So lock into place once I have it set the way I want it. It'll make it easy for me to undo and change configuration. that out. Stretch this side out. I don't have any tabs here, I just have the one in the middle. So go ahead and put the beaner on there. Lock it. Stretch it. There you go. Nice diamond tarp pattern. So I'm going to take down the diamond pattern that was over the hammock. I've already pulled the hammock down and put it away. I'm going to take down the diamond pattern. I'm going to put it, change it around, and I'm going to set it up in a, a classic lean-to going to the north. So here we go. Center line. What I really like about this setup with the ridge line like this is my tarp isn't all over the ground if I don't need it to be. It gives me a lot of uh, flexibility in how I deal with it. Slide my pressic loop, catch the other edge, relock the the beaner, stretch for tension. I'm going to come off of this side. I'm going to stretch it out to this way. Get a little more center here on the. So now I can take these lines. Because I have the tie outs, I can grab them, lock them in, stretch them into place. Providing me lots of tarp security. So what I've done here is I've centered the tarp a little bit better on the, between the trees, pulled out the two corners, and then set the three internal uh, tie-outs using the same pressic loop with carabiners. So my three center ones are going to also help hold so I don't get a lot of drooping in the middle there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my stakes, stake out the back, and uh, we'll take a look at it a little bit closer.
shouldn't need any guy lines because it should go all the way to the ground. Now we have a traditional lean-to style. Uh, I could take branches, put a second ridge line, cover there and fill in with some, uh, some brush, some pine boughs, whatever. If I needed a windbreak, it's not super windy, there's a light breeze, but this will get me out of the sun. I can sit down under here. I could put out my sleeping, uh, my bedroll, be protected. Really easy setup. This. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to undo the back stakes. Disconnect here. I'm going to move it up to the second row of tie outs on the, uh, on the uh, side edges and create a lean to with a short roof so we can cover that to prevent rain or whatever. I can drop it down to keep rain from coming in. Let's do that now. So for this one, I undid the centers because I don't have any tie outs up there. Pulled the tarp up over the ridge line to give me maximum protection and then to give rigidity underneath of it so I don't have it sagging if there's rain or whatever coming. I don't want there to be a pool. I want rigidity. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake out some guy lines to the front of this and then stake out the back. Set my loop in on the stake. Bring it out. Open it out. Cord. Put the carabiner here, the night eye figure nine. Now, because I've got this droop here, I'm probably going to put another one in over here and pull it out. Actually, I think I'm just going to adjust this one out the other direction and give me a little bit better spread. Now go back and stake the back out.
go back and reset this one. Get the pull bit free. needed to, I could run a set of paracord through to a diamond, clip out another night eyes, secure it down. But this should do fine because anything that pulls is just going to drain off. So that's classic lean-to with the roof. Another one you can do with the classic lean-to, go ahead and pull up the bottom, bring it in and tuck it under. Stake it down at the second tie outs on there on the ground. That'll give us a ground cloth. Go ahead and do that right now. So that version gives me a little bit of ground cloth. So if the ground's already wet, I can put my sleeping roll, my bed roll, on that and stay off of the wet ground. <laughs> 